Hey beautiful people, my name is Kristen. Thank you for stopping by my channel, Enter the Book. Today I am going to cover my, what I think is fairly large stack of what I want to read in the month of November. We will see. I mean, November typically tends to be a pretty good reading month for me, so I'm hopeful I can get through all of these. The first three are buddy reads, so I absolutely will be getting through those. And the first one I'm excited about because it kind of even is a start to nonfiction November and one that a lot of people are reading and that is a library copy that I got for H is for Hawk. This is a book that has been on my TBR for a long long time and I am going to be buddy reading this with the awesome Gloria Z Thompson. I will leave all these channels that I am buddy reading with below because they are amazing and I've never gotten a chance yet to read with Gloria and I'm super excited. I feel like she is one of those kindred spirit booktubers that just seems to have such a great thought process on what she reads and I tend to agree with so much of what she says. Not always, but most of the time. So I look forward to reading this book. My second buddy read is also, all these buddy reads are with new people that I've never gotten to read with before. So the second one is my friend Erin Fraser. Erin's channel has a lot of poetry and classics on it and he just has a really beautiful thought process in reviewing his work so you can check out his channel below. Uh, we are going to be reading Joseph Conrad's Heart of Darkness. This will count as my classic and it is not very big. I did read this in high school so it has been a dang hot minute since I read it and I remember struggling with it not necessarily hating it but I definitely didn't like it but I was being forced to read it. I really look forward to just reading it you know, not only again with fresh adult eyes, but reading it with Erin. So I will be reporting on that at the end of the month for sure. And then my third buddy read for the month of November is just a fun fiction book that is going to be with my friend Jillian at Novel Opinion. Jillian's channel does a lot of beautiful vlogs where she is actually visiting sites or libraries or reviewing things with kind of uh, extra scenery, which I really admire because I want to do that kind of thing. I just, I'm not good at it. I should push myself. I should push myself. And we are going to be reading Song of Achilles. I know I'm late to the party on this one. So many people have read it. It is a retelling of the Iliad, which I have read fairly recently. And I really look forward to finally digging into this one and having a friend to read it because to be honest it's one of those things that's that was kind of beloved so much that I was fearful that maybe I wouldn't like it um you know retellings are sometimes you know challenging so those are my three buddy reads then it is nonfiction November Woohoo! one of my very favorite events hosted by a book olive I do not I haven't yet I should say done her prompts, although I could fit these in, but I just pick at least four nonfiction books and I have more than that that I have picked because, let me share with you, The Little Book of Japanese Living, um, who's this by? Yataka Yazawa. Hopefully I'm saying that name correctly. Um, this is a beautiful little book that I got at Half Price Books and it has these lovely pictures. It has travel vlog. It has some recipes. My sons are going to Japan for their Christmas break. So I thought I would read this in November and then wrap it up and send it to them because I don't know that this is any place they're going, but I just thought they would appreciate seeing it. It's just a beautiful little book and, you know, kind of funsy. My second nonfiction for nonfiction November is going to be Tim Tebow's latest book. He has written several. This one's called Mission Possible, uh, Go Create a Life That Counts. So my lovely husband bought this for me for our anniversary present. And I just thought that was so, I, I, I married well. It's like, he doesn't read. So a husband who doesn't read, who purchases a book and purchases one by Tim Tebow, when I am a huge Tim Tebow fan, he, wrote, he does write several books and curriculum, which I have read and used and uh, have been to serve in Guatemala City to a 
ministry that he supports down there. And so I am a huge fan and uh, I look forward to reading that book in nonfiction November. The last one, this one I will definitely read because it was on my 2022 reading list goals for nonfiction. It's the last nonfiction on my goals that I haven't read. So we're gonna knock it out in November, even though it's a little intimidating because look at this <laughs> size. And that's an American life. This is the biography, autobiography of Ronald Reagan. So I do have goals to eventually read about the American presidents, especially if they had autobiographies um, or find the biographies that are the most, with the most accolades, right? Then carrying on for nonfiction November, because what would it be with only like four, right? We are going to do The Wild Vine. This was uh, one that was in my triad chapter and it made the cut. This is obviously a book about growing vines. I think it is set in the state of Virginia with the Norton grape, if I'm remembering correctly, because I did read the first chapter. But I look forward to reading the rest of that book, as well as the other triad chapter nonfiction book that made the cut, which was The Long Run. This was a girl who was getting over some tragedies and hardships in our life with running, which is exactly what I, the only marathon that I completed was at the close of the year of finalizing my divorce. So this has got to be, this has got to be at least a three star, if not a five star book for me, right? So those are my non-fictions that I hope to get to. And then I do have a couple fiction that I'm just throwing in there because I mean, like that wasn't enough to read in one month. My spin that I did landed on Nora Roberts, the um, Donovan Legacy. So I have read the first trilogy that had the Donovan, there's three Donovan brothers and they each book, they fall in love and get married, even though, of course, they're, you know, confirmed bachelors at the beginning. And it's just the typical love story romance. You know, it's going to end happy. You know, they're going to get together. You know, there's going to be some minor drama, but it will pass. And sometimes you just want that, you know, and these are set in Ireland, which I love, love that setting. And so these are now their children, if I'm not mistaken. I think they each, you know, had a child and now this is each of their children's story. So I love the characters. I'm going to enjoy some time, um, if not in November, by the end of the year. We're definitely gonna get because you do get two months grace for the spins so sometime in november december i will read those technically three books right and then november is my birthday month so i wanted to pick what book it was that i most wanted to pick up and read at least on my birthday if not for the birthday month and that is s i did a recent unboxing of this where i opened it up and kind of showed it uh but it has lots of goodies and things to explore within the pages, postcards and notes. It's basically the story itself, plus two people who are writing notes and letters to one another as they're reading the book. So it's a book of a book and maybe a third-ish book. There's several ways to read. I think I'm gonna read it all the way through stopping and reading all the notes as I go. I think that's how I am, but if you have experienced this book and you have a recommendation um you know like go ahead and read the book first and ignore the notes and then look at the notes afterwards or something like that let me know but i i'm i'm thinking i'm probably not my birthday's at the end of the month so i'm thinking i'm not going to finish this in november but i'm going to definitely start this and who knows i might get sucked in and it's a 450 page book but Weirder things have happened, y'all. Weirder things have happened. So those are my books. Let me know in the comments. Have you read any of these? Are you reading any of these? What's your top pick for nonfiction November? Are you doing the H's for Hawk, which seems to be the book that I see the most commonly put on it? Let me know. I will note if you are reading H's for Hawk, my friend Sandy at Miss Reads A Lot has a Discord that anybody can join in and discuss it as a group. So I will leave her link to that video where she's talking about that with the discord so you can find it if you are reading H's for Hawk and you want to join into that. So that is my November reading. Wish me luck and happy reading to each of you. Take care now.